The Ryzen 3 3100. It's about $30 cheaper. Is it going to be worth the savings? Today we're going to be doing some testing and finding out. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. And today we're going to be overclocking the 3100. We're going to try and match the settings as closely as possible to the 3300X. Same RAM speed, same Infinity Fabric speed, and same core clock speed. And all we're going to do is just run the slew of benchmarks and see what the difference is between the chips. Can we get the 3100 as fast as the 3300X? Save 30 bucks? Maybe put that money towards a GPU. For today's setup, we're using the uh, exact same setup as before. 360 mil radiator with a pump. Uh, same uh, CPU block, nothing special. Right out of the gate here, I'm going to post up a picture of the uh, IDA64 uh, memory and cache uh, benchmark. So what you see here with both the IDA pictures up, you'll notice that the Ryzen 3 3100 is about 5 nanoseconds slower than the 3300X. That's, that's actually not that bad. I was expecting more than that. I, uh, that shouldn't make that much of a difference in games. Judging by the numbers on paper, a 5 nanosecond difference is not that much for a CCX of 2 and 2 versus a Unified of 4. So, let's just go right into the benchmarks here and let's see if there's even a difference at all. We got no And those are the results. Pretty pretty much in line with what all the other tech tubers have been saying. Anywhere from 10 to even 20% performance increase in that 3300X. I wanted to test it myself because I always feel like because I always feel like I'll I'm, I'm going to push the hardware much further than the um much further than the normal tech tuber. Do you know what I mean? The interesting thing is, is by just by the 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 synthetics, you wouldn't have seen that much of a performance increase. If this is really just like in games where you can really see the difference. If you're just doing rendering and stuff, there's no difference at all, pretty much. You know what the surprising thing is though? When you run the synthetic uh, IDA64 like benchmark suite, the only difference you see is a five nanosecond difference on the uh, the memory latency, and that that does not account for ten to twenty percent performance difference. So like, how the how the heck would you measure that in a synthetic workload? That's like. But that's also the same reason why Intel is so much faster in gaming and not synthetics. It's just because, like, you, you can't benchmark that. It's It doesn't, like, like if Intel is 20% faster, and that's not going to show up in a latency uh, benchmark. Like, I wonder if there is such a thing as a latency benchmark. So, like, something that will really test like pneuma nodes and intercore latency and that kind of stuff. I I, I kind of wonder about that. 
But in terms of like Fire Strike and and uh, Time Spy and Ida and those type of things, you're ne you're never gonna see that. It's, it's very it's really interesting. But when it but as soon as you turn that game on, man, that F, that FPS number doesn't lie. You 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 will know. Final note here though, this does bode really well for Ryzen four thousand though. So if if, if going from uh two two to a single four gets you about anywhere from 10 to 20% performance increase going from 4 to 8 theoretically should yield the same performance increase on games that can utilize more cores those higher core count games so i can't wait to see what happens with that i amd's got to hurry up and and get those chips out man we're all we're all waiting for those things we got to Come on, AMD, let's get the, the ball rolling here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, even if you buy the craziest RAM that you can find with a 3100, it's it's just pay the extra $30 and get the 3300X. It, yeah, that's... I, I've confirmed that myself now. I, I mean... I, unless, you're, unless you're playing League of Legends or Overwatch or something, then you'll hit the frame cap anyway. Um, I might just like... I might just remove Overwatch from the list of benchmarks because if this CPU can hit three three hundred FPS, then what's? Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that one. That's just a waste of time, pretty much. All right. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. I just wanted to do this quickly to really hammer home how important that single CCX is going to be for Ryzen four thousand. Uh, even if they don't increase the IPC at all, just getting those eight cores on one chip on one CCX is going to be, that's going to be, that's going to be the game changer. Um, if you like this content, please like, and subscribe. Uh, hopefully today is the day I earned your subscription. Uh, going to do a giveaway once I reach a hundred. So hit that button, hit that bell, tell your friends about it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later.